Greetings, deeply loved children of God. Welcome to Story Time with Pastor Maureen. I am Pastor Maureen Howard of Emanuel Lutheran Church in Washington, Iowa. And as I always do, I greet you with great joy as we come together to learn the wonderful stories in the Bible that tell us how much God loves you how much God wants you, how much God treasures you, and how much God is always with us, guiding us to love others and to love God. Well, the story that we're up to today is called God Calls Samuel, and we are reading from the Spark Story Bible, which is published by Augsburg's Fortress. The last time that we were together, we were reading about Hannah wanting a baby. And you remember she was in the temple and she was praying, praying, praying to God because she wanted a baby. And God granted her wantings and gave her a baby. But part of Sarah's, I mean, excuse me, Hannah's promise was that the child would be raised in the temple. And that's what happened. Sarah, uh, Hannah had a baby. She named him Samuel. And now Samuel is 12 years old and he's living in the temple and Eli is taking care of him. So let's continue. Let's continue reading the story. Now my phone has gone off twice, which you probably have noticed. Stay, stay right there and we'll continue reading if my phone goes off again. Here it is. God calls Samuel. Samuel was a 12-year-old boy who lived in the temple with a priest named Eli and learned about God. Eli took care of Samuel and Samuel helped take care of Eli because Eli was almost blind. One night something special happened. As Samuel slept in the temple, he heard a voice call out, Samuel! Samuel thought it was Eli calling, so he jumped out of bed. Here I am, Samuel answered as he ran to Eli. I'm here because you called me. But Eli shook his head. I didn't call you. Go back to your bed. Samuel did as he was told and fell asleep quickly. A little while later, the voice called out again, Samuel! This time Samuel was more tired and crawled out of his bed more slowly. In Eli's room, Samuel rubbed his eyes, scratching his tummy and said with a yawn, I'm here because you called me. Eli was getting tired of Samuel coming into his room and said more firmly, I didn't call you. Now please go back to bed. And here you can see it's nighttime. And here's Eli sleeping and you can see his his eyeball opening up as Samuel comes into him and says, I'm here, you called me. You see Squiggles? Yeah, even Squiggles is running with Samuel to tell Eli, I'm here, I'm here. Eli doesn't look too happy that he's woken up. When this happened a third time, Eli thought to himself, Aha! It must be God who is calling Samuel. Eli told Samuel, who is now very confused and sleepy, If you are called again, just say, God, I hear you and I will do whatever you want. When the voice called again, Samuel! Samuel did as Eli told him. It was God, and God had many things to say to Samuel. Even though he was only 12, 
Samuel wanted to serve God. With God's help, Samuel grew up to share many messages from God. People all over Israel knew Samuel as God's trusted prophet. And here is Samuel, young boy Samuel, who's only 12 years old, listening to God and then doing what God says. Do you see squiggles? <laughs> there, Squiggles, right there under Samuel's arm. Well, that's the story of Samuel hears from God. Yes, God continues to talk to us, but many times we're too busy talking to God that we don't listen. And that's what in the story tells us. We need to be listening for God. And God talks to us through other people. And God talks to us. Sometimes we get feelings, and that would be God talking to us. And other times, God talks to us through the Bible. God's always talking to us through the Bible and teaching us. And we know that Jesus is one way God speaks to us through hearing what Jesus teaches us. We know that God wants us to serve him and to serve our neighbors. So let's on the count of three say, Jesus loves me. So let's on the count of three say, Jesus loves me. You ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves me. Yes, children of God, Jesus does love you. But you're not the only one that Jesus loves. Jesus loves everybody. Everybody in the whole world. Oh, so let's say Jesus loves our neighbors too. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves our neighbors too. Yes, Sam and Samuel and Eli and Lori and Kelly. God says to you, I love you and Jacob, and Joseph, and Sam, and Crank, and Joey, God says to you, I love you. Doris, and Wilma, and Mary, and Yarrow, God says to you, you are my treasured children, and I love you. So children of God, take time to listen. Take time to listen to God calling you and seeing what God has in store for you. How can you serve God's people? How can you love God with all of your heart? So when you pray, when you talk to God, make sure that you leave time for God to speak to you. So you have a grateful day, children of God, and I'll see you tomorrow for another story in the wonderful Bible that tell us how much God loves us. Have a grateful day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everybody.